Hello, hey there Salesforce people. Welcome back to the series Salesforce plus Millsoft integration. This is Amit Singh. I welcome you all to the YouTube channel Panther School. And in this video, we will talk about how we can generate a permanent access token for Facebook. Before we go ahead and start generating the permanent access token, please do like, share, subscribe and also press the bell icon so that you don't miss any update from our channel. As you can see here, while you are on the application page under WhatsApp getting started, you can see that this is clearly stating it's a temporary access token and this will get expired in next 23 hours. So if I do refresh, then again I'll get a access token which is valid for next 23 hours. Now we have to continuously keep refreshing the access token in every 24 hour if we are not generating the permanent access token. So that's why Facebook came up with a solution that go ahead and generate a permanent access token and use that access token to make your API call. So while you are under WhatsApp, click on configuration. And under configuration, you will see that there is an option called permanent token and click on this link, learn how to create a permanent token. This will take you to a document page of our Salesforce de Facebook developers. And what you have to do is, these are the steps that we need to follow. We already have created a business manager with a WhatsApp business account. We already have a sales, uh, Facebook developer account. We have created an application and added WhatsApp to our business manager account. So these top three steps we have already performed. The next step then we need to provide perform is an access token. So click on this link. It will again open a new link. From there it will list down all the steps how we can create a permanent access token. So this link is saying add system users to your business manager. If you scroll down, you will find under these steps, we will see that there is a go to business setting. This is the link where we need to click on and it will take you to the business setting. If it is asking you to select the business account, please select the appropriate business account. In my case, this is my business account, which I'll be clicking on and it might also take you to this particular page where your business is already selected and you are under users where you see that there is a user. You just need to select system users under users. I already have one user over here which is admin but I will show you how you can create. You can just click on add and then here you give it a name. You, you can just give it a name whatever you want. I am saying admin1 and then role is admin and create system user but I'm getting this error the reason I'm getting is because there could be only one system user as a admin so you need to create there could be some pop-up that you might get so if you get those kind of pop-up just click on I agree or done this could be two buttons which you will get after you have created the admin user you need to add that user under whatsapp accounts so under accounts click on whatsapp accounts and uh, you will see there is a account called test whatsapp business account and here you will see a button called add people so click on that button and here you will find a user system user select that give the permission these both permissions full control as well as manage phone numbers and message templates click on assign and then click on done now you have added your system user under whatsapp account we don't have any Instagram account you can see over here. So that's why if you wanted to perform some actions with the help of Instagram account, then you can follow these steps to adding the users and adding the account. We will not go there. Now come back to the system users again. Select your user and then click on generate new token. So if you click on generate new token, it is going to ask you to select the application the developer application we created which is salesforce demo and then if you scroll down there are two no, two 
scopes or two permissions which we need to select is WhatsApp business messaging, WhatsApp business management. These are the two permissions you need to select. If you want, if you want to work with other APIs, then you can select the permission which is required for that. And then click on this generate token button on the bottom. It will generate a token and it is going to give you this token. Okay, you can just you need to copy this and paste it somewhere, keep it secure with you because this token will not be stored at Facebook. So if you click on OK without copying it, you will lose this token. So that's why just go ahead and copy this token, which is really important for us. Go ahead and click on OK. Now you have copied the token, save it somewhere. In my case, I'm going to save it to the Postman itself because I'm going to use Postman. Okay. I'm just storing it somewhere for my purpose. Now, once you have generated the token, get back to your application page where you are already under application your application is selected go to the getting started and from getting started for the two to whom you wanted to send the message select your mobile number which you have generated in the previous okay in the previous demo videos and then from this request just click this clipboard so that it can copy your text okay now this time we are going to send this message using postman so if you have not installed the postman i would suggest go ahead download and install the postman and once you are done with the installation of postman open the postman and click on import and for importing click on raw text and paste it over here whatever you have copied click on continue and then import so it is going to prepare your request for you now if you see here up to here from graph.facebook.com forward slash v14.0 this is the api endpoint base url basically then this is our phone number id and what we wanted to do is we wanted to send the messages because that is the method is post if you go to body and click on beautify you will see that this is your message we'll talk about uh, these messages okay then if you go to header under header you will see two key are there two values are there authorization and content type so authorization this is your sort lib token which is going to expire in next 23 hours so instead of using that we are going to use our token which we have copied which is the permanent token just go ahead and remove everything from the authorization and then type bearer put a space and paste your access token which you have copied and then go to the body let's understand what this body is saying it is saying that messaging product whatsapp because we wanted to send the whatsapp message this is the phone number along with the country code then type type is template it could be text and there could be videos as well okay we'll talk about the different types of messages as this is the type of template we will have a template object under template object we will give the name of our template template this template is already defined in facebook business account we will see where we can define and then language under language we've got code as english us okay and if you click on send okay we got this error unsupported post request object with id phone number id does not exist cannot be loaded due to missing permissions or does not support this operation if you are getting this error which means we missed one step and what is that step we'll get back to our business manager okay we'll go to the business settings i hope you already you have opened this browser then what you have to do is under accounts we also need to add the user under applications so click on this application and then click on this add people button here you need to select system user and then provide the permission for develop the app and also provide the permission for full control and then assign it once you have done the assignment of your admin user under the application get back to your postman click on send and this time you will see there is a success message so that is step we missed for adding the user under application so this is how you can generate the permanent access token and this token you will be using 
for making the API calls. They could be sending the message, creating the templates, creating the QR code messages, sending the QR code messages, or creating the interactive message. There could be so many operations that you could use or you could perform with the help of this access token. So this is it for this video. Thank you for your time. And before you go ahead, please do like, share, subscribe the channel so that you don't miss any notification from our channel. Thank you.